All right guys, right now I'm in Florida, in my hometown. And from the recent trip from the Bahamas, I did an inspection on the boat and trailer. And the inspection did not pass on the trailer. Let me show you why. The reason it didn't pass the inspection is because right here, this, this brake has already delaminated the brake material. So right now it's metal with metal heating. You can tell there that it's scratching the disc. So this continental manufacturer of these trailers, they put very cheap disc brakes. Um, they use the ones that are not stainless steel backed. See these ones right here, the new ones that I got, they're stainless steel. See that? So they have a backing of stainless steel. So you see this material has stainless steel backing on the brakes pads, so it lasts longer, it doesn't delaminate. Because if this is full metal, what happens is with a solid environment, it's gonna swell up and it's going to delaminate from the disc material pad. So that's why getting stainless steel is the best option. But I'm surprised at the Continental brand that they don't bring good disc brakes. What they put in it is the cheapest things they can find uh, instead of putting stainless steel for the environment. And also I got four brand new discs. It's better to get brand new disc when you get these very expensive disc pads right here because these ones are more expensive. They cost almost three times as much as the cheaper ones that come from factory. All right, I'm gonna get this started. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. It's not complicated, it's just time consuming. Yeah, look at the conditions of the disc pads very rusted and also the disc the surface of the disc is very rough also you can tell right here this is a big lump right there see if you look here you see how it's expanding? The disc is expanding and it's delaminating. Look how easy it would delaminate. Look at that. You see? The rust is building up back here and it delaminates the brake pad into two pieces. So as I said before, this is stainless steel versus metal. So this is gonna be more durable than this. It's not gonna delaminate like this. The rust will expand, delaminate your disc pad, and then this is what's gonna be breaking your boat. Look, just a little bit, I push just a little bit, and that's it. Look how it delaminates. So definitely, these disc pads are no good because they're metal. For the solid environment, they're not gonna last that long. And this is where stainless steel backing brake pads come in place and they're gonna be more durable and keep in mind I always wash my trailer with fresh water all the time and sometimes I take it to the lake to wash the trailer but it's not enough <coughs> let's put the new one in and to continue I'm gonna use this this pad opener and before you do this you need to come here to the reservoir and open it to release the pressure. I'm gonna have to also drain this fluid and add new fluid to it because it doesn't look that good. So I'm gonna open this up, release the pressure. And I'm gonna use this expansion for the calipers. All right, so right now what it's doing is opening the uh, caliper up so I can put the new dispatch in. This pad that goes inside, and this is the side that goes facing outwards. Put it back in. All right, so I already got the stainless steel backing disc pads and also the new disc. All right, here there's support for the uh, fluid. I got a clear cup here. It's releasing some of the fluid. 
So I have to lift up the jack right there, so that way the gravity will push the hydraulic fluid to this cup here. So I'm going to add more brake fluid so I can get some new brake fluid into the lines. So I added some new brake fluid into the reservoir so I can flush it down. Put some uh, silicone spray in there. I'm also draining the one in the back. You see the fluid is kind of dark. Get some new brake fluid in there. All right, so I'm all done with the brakes and the pads. New brakes and pads. And I took about this much of fluid on each tire. This hydraulic fluid does not look good at all. So I'm gonna drain out the whole system, get some more hydraulic fluid in there until it comes out very clear. If you check yours, and definitely it's like this, you need to change it. All right guys, it's very important to check your brakes and discs conditions every time you travel. Like in my case, I travel for about four hours, sometimes even seven hours long trips, and the brakes need to be running 100%. There is a heavy load between boat and trailer, and fuel it is a little well over 5,000 pounds, so I do need to have my four disc brakes working perfect to avoid accidents out there, especially carrying such heavy load. All right guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful how to maintain your trailer and also very important to bleed your system. Definitely you don't want this type of fluid on your system. And as soon as weather permits, I'll be heading another trip. I don't know where I'm going next, but I'll be taking you guys with me. All right guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe.